Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com in your Weather Authority app. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Wednesday morning forecast update. The heat going up another level today. So if yesterday was a eight and a half or a nine, today's like a nine or a nine and a half. The Weather Service has actually issued an excessive heat warning. So thinking today is we'll come in close to 100 degrees again, but the humidity will be higher. So that's why we all have a heat index likely between 110. 10, 114 degrees this afternoon so that's what it will actually feel like and again day like today you can get rapid onset of heat illness especially if you're working hard outside so if you have anything to take care of outside do it early this morning and then just kind of relax and enjoy a nice air conditioned space this afternoon and if you do have to be outside of course uh, drink plenty of water today and take a lot of breaks in the shade and air conditioning if it's at all possible for you again uh, temperatures a little warmer we're starting out in the low to mid 80s we started out upper 70s yesterday and made it to about 100 degrees. So I'm thinking we'll likely wind up at a similar finish line today. Have the high uh, up to 101 in Shreveport. Texarkana did hit uh, 100 yesterday. Should be there again today. So we'll feel similar air temperatures. But again, it's that small rise in humidity that will add a few extra degrees to the heat index, which will likely stay about 110 uh, from the mid to late afternoon today. And you can see the heat index in a lot of other locations here likely peaking above 110. So it's why we do have the excessive heat warning today and may see that again tomorrow before we see some relief uh, make its way in over the weekend. So all the rain uh, over the last few days has stayed north of us along this frontal boundary, which is being uh, kind of held back by this ridge of high pressure. So we talk about that heat dome and that's exactly what this is, just kind of baking the lower half of the country here. This high is going to shift back to the west over the next few days here. So uh, once this high begins to move west, we'll see this front dip into the arc text and the thinking here is that that will occur likely Friday night into Saturday morning so you can see the next few days the uh, rain staying on top of us here but uh, we'll likely see those showers and storms kind of press south towards the region here by Saturday so Saturday will not be a washout but there will be some uh, showers and storms out there in the morning and as far as any severe weather threat it's still uh, kind of far out yet to venture a guess but it's looking like we probably will be in a marginal risk outlook which is that level one threat which means not not expecting widespread severe weather, but may have to watch a few storms for wind, especially uh, Saturday during the day there. But it uh, looks like the rain chance will drop off a bit Sunday. The temperatures, even though it's not a huge cool down, will be in the low to mid 90s. We'll get some humidity relief behind that front as well. So actually the weather pattern looking uh, a little more comfortable for us Saturday through next Monday. You'll notice the lows drop it back into the low 70s as well and kind of enjoy those few days of cooler weather for us because it looks like we may be back towards triple digits by the middle of next week.